It's the 8th of November 1918 and the Great War is coming to a close. The Allies have just lost Russia but added the United States to their cause while the Central Powers have just lost the Ottomans, Austria-Hungary and Bulgaria. Germany stands alone but not for long. The German delegation arrive at French Marshal Ferdinand Fox private train that is parked in the forest of Campan in northern France. Ferdinand Fock listened to the reading of the preamble and then got up and left the negotiations to another general. He knew that walking out was humiliating for the German delegates, but who cares, as the good guys won and peace was achieved for eternity. An Austrian man who got rejected from art school would never seek revenge. Even though he was Austrian, Hitler was German, true and true. He wanted revenge on France and the Allies. He wanted Germany to return to its former glory. Following World War I, the German people suffered. The economy was in ruins. People were dying from disease and starvation. They were weak and hopeless and in suffering. And while the Germans suffered, the French Celebrated. They built a war memorial in 1927 in Compan Forest, which included a statue of Ferdinand Fock and housed the wagon that the Armistice of 1918 was signed in, called the Compan Wagon. After victories in Poland, Denmark, and Norway, Germany moved on to France. Both sides faced each other in Belgium, and it looked like a repeat of World War I was on the cards. But Germany attacked through the undefended Ardennes and surrounded the French and British troops. This left a path straight to Paris, open for Germany with little resistance. They took control of Paris, and the French government, who had fled to Bordeaux, sent a letter to Germany wishing to negotiate an armistice. Hitler agreed to the negotiations and arranged for them to be taken place in Compan. He then removed the Compan wagon from the museum and ordered it to be dragged to the exact same spot the 1918 armistice had taken place in. Hitler, who was in attendance, sat in the same chair Ferdinand Fox sat in 22 years prior and after listening to the reading of the preamble repeated what Fock done in 1918, exiting the carriage to show his disdain for the French delegates while leaving the negotiations to someone else. Three days later, Hitler ordered the destruction of the site except for the statue of Ferdinand Fock so that the statue would be honoring only a wasteland. The wagon was taken to Berlin and moved around a few times until it was eventually destroyed. It's believed that the SS destroyed it in 1945 to avoid having to sign peace terms in the carriage again, but that is not confirmed. This was how Hitler got his supreme moment of revenge for Germany over France. 